Daniel Ramey with Circo Innovations. Today we're going to be building this PVC solar panel sprayer. Let's get into it. Parts needed. You're going to need four sections of the inch and a quarter PVC pipe cut to 12 inches long. Next you're going to need two sections of the inch and a quarter PVC pipe cut to six inches long. Next you will need two of the inch and a quarter of adjustable three ways. You will also need four of the inch and a quarter external caps. Along with two of the inch and a quarter internal caps. Next you'll need one of the three quarter inch swivel adapter. Also one of the three quarter inch nipples. One of the threaded cap with a washer. Next you'll need three of the inch and a quarter to three quarter reducers. You also need one of the inch and a quarter five way fittings. Next you'll need one of the three quarter inch to half inch threaded reducer. And lastly, you'll need one of the half inch impact sprinkler heads. All right, we're gonna start from the top down. So you have your sprinkler head, then you have this adapter piece here. Now we're gonna do some glue on this top portion, give it a good time to dry. All right, that portion's done. This five way here, these ends, take those out, let that dry. I'm going to let these dry. Next, we're going to move over to this section here. We're going to be taking this cap and placing on these six inch sections right here. Have these snap in like that. Let those dry. All right, next we're going to be placing this end into here, the side that has the cap on it and the cap on it. That's going to allow the water to come through, stay inside the five-way, create that good pressure outside your sprinkler. It also gives pressure to this backside if you want to extend to another sprinkler. All right, we have a new inch and a quarter adjustable fitting here. This is a three-way. We have it in different sizes as well. But we're going to be using this for our next phase, we're going to be placing 12 inch section. This could, all, this could be any length, but we just chose a 12 inch section with a cap on the end. You're gonna do two of those, and that's gonna be your legs on each side. You can also place a screw right here. We're not gonna glue this one just so you can disassemble it and put it away for storage. The screw's gonna go right there when we're ready. We're gonna take some self-tapping screws and just place them, make sure it's fully seated. And keep it in place. This is 
now fully dried. We're ready to put these on. Come on each side. All right, so this is ready to go. All you would do next is you have two self-tapping screws. They would come in on the back here on these holes, screw them in when you're done. But basically you would go up to the roof, set it to your desired angle like this, find the pitch of roof that works for you, right about there, tighten it down, stick it on, take your screw gun, place it right there. So we're gonna go up on the roof and uh, try it out. We suggest using a siphon valve that hooks into your three quarter inch garden hose, adding a small amount of solar panel cleaner. All right, so we're up here on the roof. We're looking at our pitch is right. It's nice and tight to the roof. Now we're worried about our angle of our sprinkler. If it's gonna be able to clean the solar panels, if it's straight up like that, you're just getting kind of a rain effect. We want a little bit more direct. So we're gonna set it just the way we want it, just like that, maybe a little higher. And then we're gonna come over here and put our self-tapping screws to hold that in place. All right, we're over here doing the other side. We're gonna be doing two sprinklers. They're gonna be connected through, uh, through a, a hose going around the back side of the roof. So we're gonna go and do the same thing as we did for that one, just on this side. Last thing we need to do on this sprinkler before we give it water is we need to make sure that our, our spray here is not gonna be wasting water and spraying where we don't need water. This needs to be on those solar panels uh, for this project. So we're gonna go down here and set it to make sure it stops in the appropriate spots.